before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! Would you believe that we always encounter electromagnetic radiation every day? But in what way? Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! Today, we are going to talk about electromagnetic waves. In this topic, we will explore and try to answer the following questions. What are electromagnetic waves? What are the different forms of electromagnetic waves that we usually encounter? And how do electromagnetic waves affect our daily lives? You may not be aware, but you have always known what electromagnetic waves are more than you think. So, what are electromagnetic waves? Or for short, EM waves. EM waves are the result of the interaction of electric and magnetic waves that produce oscillating movements. A scientific theory explaining electromagnetic waves developed by James Clark Maxwell stated that electrical fields and magnetic fields can couple together to form electromagnetic waves. Both electricity and magnetism are static, and a change in an electric field can induce a change in the magnetic field. This changing field forms the EM waves. EM waves exhibit these characteristics. They transfer energy from one place to another. They travel at the speed of light. They do not need a medium to travel. And they differ in wavelengths that ranges from longest to shortest, and frequency which ranges from highest to lowest according to the energy they carry. EM waves come in many forms, like radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. First is radio waves, which are emitted from oscillating circuits and stars. The sounds you hear from your radio are captured radio waves used primarily for communications such as voice and music. They have the longest wavelength and the lowest frequency. We can detect radio waves through gadgets such as earphones and aerial antennae. Sometimes, too much exposure to radio waves can cause headaches and harm body cells. Second is microwave, which is emitted from oscillating circuits used in communication, radar for locating objects, and for microwave ovens, which is a source of heat in cooking food. The heat generated from the microwave is called thermal agitation, wherein the molecules in an object with the temperature above zero can cause to emit and absorb radiation. Microwave can also be used to treat muscular pains, spasms, tendonitis, and rheumatic arthritis. The third is infrared, or also known as below-red, which is emitted from the sun, heater, or any hot bodies. Although invisible to the human eye, infrared can be used for night vision equipment, thermography, cooking, and short-range communication. Infrared can be captured through gadgets such as blackened bulb and phototransistor. Too much exposure to infrared can cause sunburn to the skin. Fourth is visible light, which is also emitted by the sun, flame, and incandescent objects. 
This is the only EM wave that is visible to the human eye. It is the most predominant EM wave and it allows us to enjoy the beauty of nature. Plants make use of parts of visible light to make sugars through photosynthesis. Aside from our eyes, we can detect visible light through photofilm and photoelectric cells. Fifth is ultraviolet or also known as above violet which is emitted by the sun. It allows us to identify counterfeit notes, treat skin complaints, produce energy-efficient lamps, kill bacteria in food and surgical instruments through UV light devices. Exposure to UV light can help our body produce vitamin D in our skin that is helpful for the body. However, too much exposure to ultraviolet rays may have risk of getting skin cancer, being blind, premature aging of the skin, and sunburn. Our sun emits ultraviolet waves. Fortunately, our Earth's ozone layer protects us from getting too much UV waves. Thus, in our little ways, we can minimize using ozone-depleting substances such as CFCs and HFCs that contribute to the damage of the ozone layer. Sixth is X-rays, which are emitted by X-ray star tubes and hot gases in the universe. They can also be produced in a high-voltage discharge of accelerating electrons. We use X-rays mainly for radiography or X-ray photos that help doctors determine the internal damages inside our bodies. And yes, we can detect X-ray through the photographic film which we see in our X-ray results. And security scanners which we see in airports or other establishments with high security measures. The seventh is the gamma rays. The universe is the biggest generator of gamma rays. They have the shortest wavelength and the highest frequency. X-rays and gamma rays are similar. However, gamma rays are produced through atomic nuclei. They are useful for sterilization of medical instruments and diagnosis and treatment of diseases such as cancer. However, Uncontrolled exposure to gamma waves, which are present in nuclear explosion sites, can kill healthy cells or cause gene mutations. Can you determine the EM wave present on the following objects, gadgets, or appliances that we encounter in our lives? Number 1. Microwave oven Number 2. Remote control Number 3. X-ray machine Number 4. Night vision eyeglasses Number 5. UV light device Number 6. Earphones Number 7. Rainbow And number 8. Sterilization machine used for medical instruments. Did you get everything right? Great! Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday and together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vibal. Goodbye everyone!